Mark, surely this hotel far too luxurious to house migrants in for the unforeseeable future. What's the community reaction been to all of this? Well, people in the community are absolutely delighted because it is seen as a very significant asset uh, to the local area. Two and a half thousand weddings have been held here in recent years. Now, where we are now, Andrew, is in the, the glamping site uh, in the grounds of the hotel. It's one of the best glamping sites in the UK, recognised internationally as that. You can see beautiful Kent countryside around there. The sea, of course, uh, the channel where these migrant boats come over so often. Uh, there's one of the glamping huts there, uh, glamping tents as well. Now, you might not think that's luxurious, but actually when you get inside them, it is. And they're actually in the process of constructing a hot tub uh, there as well. So it is really kind of high-end uh, glamping. I want to take you into this particular hut. This is called Sweet Briar. Um, and we can speak to uh, inside Sweetbriar, uh, Trevor Squire, who featured in our VT there. He, actually one of the directors here, designed this particular glamping setup here. How unsuitable, Trevor, would uh, these surrounds be, do you think, for asylum seekers? Well, it's just not really acceptable. This is high-end holiday um, glamping, where we, in we invite families to come from all over the country they want to get away for it to enjoy the beautiful countryside all the beautiful amenities we do we have the hotel close obviously food and everything this just wouldn't work for asylum seekers and it'd be upsetting for many people to see you know beautiful things like our copper bars jacuzzi going in and all these sort of being used by them yeah, as we chat to you jim uh, hopefully can get you some shots of uh, around this really luxurious uh, cabin in here that, uh, that is clearly very popular. Now, since this report aired, um, Andrew Pierce was asking uh, how the local community have reacted, but actually people have been contacting you from all around the world. From everywhere. We've had emails from Australia. We've had emails from Florida. Isle of Man recently this morning, telephone calls, and we are talking of thousands of positive messages, and every message has been positive, whether it be email, message, social media, telephone call. And where uh, have they seen this? This is, well, obviously, they're, they're watching your oh, right. online, okay, yeah, and this is where a lot of In Australia from. and in Florida. In, in Australia and right. Florida, you know, um, the telephone call started at four o'clock this morning where people from around the globe, not thinking about time differences, are phoning. But there's not been one negative comment, which has just been amazing, um, you know, and to hear, especially our, our older folk of the UK, you know, and they found it quite emotional, which has been beautiful to listen to their stories as well. And it is, as I was saying, an asset to the community. Two and a half thousand uh, weddings and events that have been held in, in your big marquee here, that would have been lost, I take totally. it, if it was signed over to asylum seekers? Well, we might as well just remove the marquee. I mean, but this, everybody gets married here, they become fabric of this property and they become part of the history. That some, a lot of them become friends, they come back and see us, we start meeting children then from the marriages, and it's just, you know, that they become part of the family of the Blazing Donkey, which is a family from the entire surrounding area. And we know how important this is to you, not just as a place of employment, but actually it is your home. It is, by far. And, you know, I came here, you know, obviously very, as I said to you yesterday when we spoke, you know, I, I was made redundant, you know, and you do, you know, you worry about what's going to happen. And the move could have been better for me. And it's just gone from strength to strength. I couldn't be happier. I'd hate to think that this would come to an end. Well, um, great to, to hear that you'll be keeping your job and the, the community here will, of course, also be keeping uh, the asset that is this hotel that they know and love. And amazing, I think, Andrew, that he has had thousands of people emailing, phoning. Just before you came to us, actually, he took another phone call. Uh, a woman had seen his report on GB News. They are really reacting. It's got real traction, this, and clearly... Hello to our viewers in Florida and Australia.